And welcome back coders. So I wanted to make a PC build where I can run Linux and Ubuntu and do all of my programming on. And I wanted this thing to be on a budget as well as being portable. <laughs> and I know that's a hard thing to do, but one of the first things I thought about using is the Raspberry Pi 5. It's the newest Raspberry Pi. And uh, this thing is very fast. It has eight gigabytes of memory and uh, it is running the Pyramid 5 case right here. It's a very cool looking case, very mini. And uh, I have it hooked up to a portable monitor as well as a wireless mechanical keyboard and wireless mouse. And the cool thing with the Raspberry Pi 5 is that it has Bluetooth 5.0 as well as USB 3.0 as many ports back here. And so I try to keep this as minimalistic as I can. It has the wireless mouse. So it just has one wireless dongle right there. And then it has the HDMI that goes to a mini HDMI back here. But this monitor also needs a power source. So it uses USB-C as a power source. But later on, I'll try to power this with a portable battery and I'll bring it around and see how it works. But this thing is very cool. This monitor also has sound on it so that you can hear everything with audio. And uh, what I'll do is I'll get into the setup right now on how I set up this Pyroman 5 with the Raspberry Pi 5.
then right here, if I open up terminal, I can install Visual uh, Studio Code by doing sudo apt install code. And so you can install so many other things. Uh, I mainly use Visual Studio Code to do all my programming with, and I'm using Next.js right now. So here, if you're wondering, this is how I installed Node. I use uh, snap sudo snap install node dash dash classic. And I'll show you my node version right now. It's um, 22.14.0. So here, what I'll do is I'll go to my GitHub repository. And so uh, let's grab this code here. We're gonna paste it, git clone. So now the CD into the weather app. And we'll do npm install. Okay, install and let's do npm run dev. So it's gonna start it on my localhost 3000 right here. Let's open up that link. And there it is, a weather app. I created in 2023. And uh, let's see what the weather is in Tokyo. There we go, 45 degrees, partly cloudy. Humidity is 61% and wind is 8.5 miles per hour. And if I wanna see this in VS Code, I just do code period. Open up VS Code for me. And so yeah, if you're wondering how to install any language that you want, just go to uh, Snapcraft. So you go here and you can type up snapcraft.io and then you just search for the language that you want. So let's say I want to install Python and here are all of the Python packages. So uh, let's say I want to install Python 3.8 right here. You can click on this right here and it'll show you the latest stable versions. 3.8 is the latest. So you click on install and then it'll give you the code to install it. So let's copy that and we just paste it. And it's pretty much sudo snap install Python 38. So yeah, snapcraft.io. You can find any language that you want to install for the Pi onto Linux. So overall, I'm very impressed with how the Raspberry Pi 5 is running. It's very smooth and very fast using the 8 gigabyte of RAM, but I do suggest minimal 8 gigabytes, but maybe splurge a little bit more for the 16 gigabyte. That's the highest model that they have because you do want it to be a little bit more speedy, but 8 gigabytes, I feel like minimal. You shouldn't go any lower. And to save you a little bit more money, I did splurge on this Orzopa IPS monitor because I plan on having it for a lot more other projects, but you can get a smaller monitor. This is a 16 inch, but I'll list some other monitors in the description that are more affordable. And if you want to save some more money to all list some other keyboards and mouse, this is just a keyboard that I've had for a couple years and uh, a little mini mouse. And uh, I do like the wireless part of it because it saves with all the wiring and stuff because the Pi 5 now has Bluetooth 5.0 and is very fast and very good. And if you're wondering about the operating system that I'm running on this, I'm running KDE Plasma and uh, I'll leave the info inside of the description if you want to learn more about how to set up KDE Plasma. But the Raspberry Pi does come with its own operating system. What I did first was to flash the Raspberry Pi operating system to a SD card. I installed that uh, operating system first and then I went to terminal and ran KDE Plasma to install that. And that's how I got this whole desktop setting for KDE Plasma. And it looks a lot like Windows. And as you see right here, it, it runs uh, YouTube and everything very, very smooth. That's why I also picked this desktop KDE Plasma. And see, this monitor has sound with it. So if you do want to run your own headset, you can connect a little USB dongle to it or you can use the Bluetooth on it. So I feel like this setup is everything I need to be portable. It's pretty much on a budget. Like I said, I'll show you all the pricing on this, on how much it costs to uh, do the Raspberry Pi, the case for it. This case was a little bit more expensive because I love the look of it. And that's how I feel about programming. When I build something that looks very nice, it makes me want to use it more and do more programming on it and take it around. So that's why I spent a little bit more on this case, but there's many other cases for the Raspberry Pi if you're on a budget. But for me, I do like the aesthetics of this and it's very simple, small, mini, and I can bring it around. And another thing that I like about the Pyroman 5 case is that it lets me connect my NVMe uh, SSD to this. 
and so I have a 500 gigabyte connected because you can run the Raspberry Pi operating system using a micro SD, but it is faster using the NVMe. That's why I bought that and I stored everything on there. So if you enjoyed this little mini PC build for programming, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below and comment mini PC or something like that. And uh, maybe I'll do another mini PC build and maybe I'll also get more into the software part of it and operating systems and more on Linux and stuff. Because as you know, on this channel, I mainly show you how to program using the Mac. And uh, that's why I really wanna get more into Linux and other stuff right here. But this was a very cool and fun build. And uh, maybe the next one I won't use the Pi and I'll build another mini PC using something else. I got to do more research. But this was a very fun build. I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Kodakai out.